Hi guys, Ant from UK Fountain Pens here to give you a tour of this, the Le Ban Skeleton. Um, this is available in a number of different colours, gunmetal, rainbow, but this version in gold is exclusive to Colt Pens here in the UK. This pen is very distinctive, as you can see. It has this skeletonized outer, a clear acrylic inner. Uh, it's it's me metal of unknown uh, makeup, uh, coloured in gold. And it's actually really nicely executed. Um, there are no rough edges. It's consistent all the way around. And uh, the design is, is well proportioned. It is not to my taste. Uh, it may not be to your taste either. Uh, the only thing that I... That, that's purely subjective. Uh, I may hate it. You may love it. Um, the only thing that I think is objectively a problem is the fact that you can see this silver trimmed converter through the skeletonization so much um it's especially given the trim is gold uh, it, it really stands out and because there is metal inside this barrel you won't be able to eye drop it you could use a cartridge that will also be visible um and i think that's that's a problem but we'll move on from the from the look in terms of a size comparison this this pen is smaller than a Mont Blanc 146 and ever so slightly bigger capped than uh, an Aurora 88 but it's in that kind of general ballpark it's a good medium sized pen um, it's practical as you can see the cap comes off in less than two turns and in my experience it's sealed very well um, it's comfortable the section is dished the threads is quite long the threads are not in any way objectionable if you want to you can post it quite securely although it does make the pen very back heavy uh, and this would make a good reliable daily user the uh, the clip is strong um, the only issue with comfort is that you can feel the edges of the skeletonization the gaps are big enough to get your whole fingertip into you can feel it against the the webbing of your hand um, that may bother you if uh, if textured pens uh, do this will the nib uh, is branded Laban, it's two-tone, it's got plastic feed, and I had some issues with it out of the box. Um, it wrote very dry, unless I put pressure on, at which point it became an absolute gusher. Um, I've tuned it, and it responded well to tuning, and now it is absolutely fine. Uh, it is quite a soft nib, you can get some variation, and I'll show that in the written review. The only thing I have left to say is the, the pricing. Now this pen is priced at £140 in all its variants, including this, this um, Colt Pens exclusive. For that, you get a rather nice branded box with a pull-out drawer. Um, but for that £140, you can get yourself a most of the way to a Lamy 2000 with a gold nib and piston filler. You can get a Goya. Uh, with a piston filler, you can get a Pilot Capless or Decimo. You can get any number of Leonardo's or Mayoras or those other kinds of uh, uh, resin Italian pens. Whether you would buy this one with its converter and its um, uh, not necessarily perfect nib entirely comes down to whether you like these aesthetics. Um, personally, I don't much like the aesthetics and I'm judging the pen objectively on its performance and... and comfort but i wouldn't buy this pen and have it in my own pen tray for 140 pounds there are a lot of other options out there you may feel that you see this pen and fall in love with it i think it's that kind of polarizing design and uh to end on a positive i think we could do with more uh, innovative and unusual pen designs out there so i'll leave it there uh thank you very much for watching look out for a full review on ukfountainpens.com